Winter is upon us, and we have right here the the uh, the first pistol grip uh, tire inflator. It also does come with a few more accessories to fill up uh, basketball, your tire on your uh, bicycle. But a few days ago, I needed this to fill up my tire, and it's uh, daylight savings time now, so the. So it got dark really quick, and so I needed a flashlight to see what the gauge was at when it comes to the tire pressure. So that night, I decided to go get this one, because this one has a digital display that is lit that uh, lights up. That will be majorly helpful when it comes to inflating the tire during the winter because of daylight savings time. So let's unbox this really quick and see if there is a comparison, because... because because of that digital display, extra circuit boards have to be inside to read that and activate the light, yada, yada, yada. So there has to be more to the, uh, to the mechanics inside other than just a display. So we're going to find that out is to see if there is or if there isn't. But no matter what, I'm glad I got this because I want that light display for when I, uh, because it's winter time, with my luck, uh, when I buy my cars... I always have the bad luck of having a bad sensor in my tire. So this helps out a lot all the time because I have to fill in my tires a lot. So let's unbox this and see what is inside. Here is the device and of course it comes with instructions. We'll put that in the uh, instruction bag. The box is a very nice art, but unfortunately it's now recycling. Alrighty, so we are going to take that off. Do I have scissors out here? No, I don't. There we go. Alrighty, so this is... Ooh, ooh that, that cable feels a little bit more... No, I, I think it's the same. The The cable feels a little bit more flexible when it comes to, uh, to compared to the other one. The other, it's the same material when it comes to the threading on the outside, but the inside it feels a little bit more flexible, which I like that. Yeah, this one is a little bit more stiff. So let's see what they, they are, the exact same print. They are the exact same print. It says power inflator on both of them. Right there. The exact same style. Uh, this is P737D. Uh, and this one is P737. So I guess they just add a letter if they uh if they just read as if they change the change what it is but there is the difference between the display get some batteries so let's see yeah see that is much better much, let's, let's turn the lights off it might be too bright for the cam there you go see let's actually let's tr create that That is much better, and it, like you can't see it on the camera, but I could th I could see that clear as day. But it it beats, I you can't see it, but I have it on camera. Right, there. Yeah, this is the display right here for. It. I use that way to see. This is the dis display for the dial one. Nothing much. That's much better. Much better. Looks wise, they pretty much look the exact same. But the wiring inside is different. All right, so both of these are the same. Uh, the only difference of the unit itself is the digital display. Both of these go up to a maximum PSI of 150. It is the exact same mechanics inside, except for the dial display. Inside, there is more mechanisms to actually move the dial and this one is just a circuit board so this one is a, a 
They both perform the same, but this one is far superior because of the digital this, uh, lit display. I, uh, for the analog, you actually need to use a flashlight to, uh, to read this at night. And it's winter time. By me, it gets, it's dark by 410 now. So it's like the, and I, I usually, uh, fill up, uh, in the morning, which it's still dark or when I get home from work, which is still dark. So having the digital display is worth getting another one. It's, uh, it's priceless. But yeah, but I'm glad I got this. Weight wise, it actually feels lighter. This one feels a little bit lighter than this one does. I wish I had a scale. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm glad I got that. That is huge. That is huge, especially during the winter when it gets dark at 430. I'm glad that I got it. I'm glad I got this because this now goes in my car and this one stays in the shop. Now I do have, I did not get the new version of this tire inflator yet, which I, I'm going to. This is still the old school uh, blower uh, and a tire inflator. And like I said, uh, it does come with attachments uh, to blow up uh, sports balls and to blow up uh, tires for your bicycle. So this comes in handy with that as well. I, I, I love these tools. These tools are awesome. So. This is a part of the Black Friday sale. This is $24. And, uh, and yeah, the model for this again is uh, P737D. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, this, it's not, uh, the, this tire inflator itself is not new. They just added a digital display. This has been out for a while, but it has, a, it had a, uh, a dial display and now you have a digital lit up display, which is awesome. So it's winter time when I have to put t uh, air in the tire, I usually put a little bit more than the, than what I regularly, I, I usually put 34 uh, four PSI in, but it's winter time. If a tire goes low. I put about 36. So when the fluctuation of the, uh, when the tire spinning to where the tire has been sitting out all night uh, outside, that extra pressure uh, isn't released to where the tire is going to read that it's, uh, that it needs more air. It'll have a little bit of give. So, but this thing, it worked out perfectly uh, at night. And I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got this one. Now, this one, it's not, this one is not useless. Uh, but this is my go-to tire inflator. So I do suggest uh, for the Black Friday, it's $24 over at Home Depot. I do suggest you get this. This thing is awesome. That digital display is priceless. It is priceless. And I, uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. So, so it took me like about 45 seconds to put in about 8 PSI into the, into the tire. I usually put 36 and it was a, about tw uh, 27 to 28. And so it took like about, it took less than a minute. So less than a minute of having the tire inflated without having to go to the gas station or whip out a pressure uh, or whip out a compressor. And then you have to wait for that to build up in eight sec, uh, less than a minute straight from just put a battery in, then you're done. And you are done. And if you if you need a, uh, a little bit longer because your tire is bigger, I have a, uh, big tires with an SUV. So it, it on a car, it would be even uh, less time. But it's good. It's a good uh, tool to keep in your car. And that's why I got this one because I get to do it at night. My wife already has one in her car. She doesn't have the digital display one. But uh, the odds of her needing that is slim compared to me because of with my luck, with all my cars, my t since I was a teenager, my tire pressure would always drop down. So that's pretty much it. I recommend get this over at the Home Depot. 24 bucks, not a bad deal. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, this saved me from spending a lot of money at the gas station in the past year. I filled up my tires, I'd say at least seven times, including in the summer. 
because I have the trailer, the boat trailer to take care of as well. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.